Hey guys, Fibonacci retracement levels are used in technical analysis to predict potential levels of supply and demand before impulsive moves occur during a trending market. However, they should be used in combination with other forms of analysis to make well-informed trading decisions. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Fibonacci retracement levels correctly to gain a deeper understanding of price movements and improve trading decisions. We will provide a step-by-step -step explanation of two of the most effective entry setups for continuation and reversal trading, using retracement levels. So, guys, if this is something that interests you, please hit the like button to show your support and subscribe if you're new. See you after the intro. Let's start with some fundamental concepts about market structure. Regardless of whether you're trading in Forex, crypto, stocks, or other financial markets, you'll notice that prices move in waves of impulse and pullbacks. This fractal nature of the market occurs due to the behavior of market participants. When market sentiment is bullish and traders are optimistic about a currency pair, they tend to buy it, which leads to an impulsive move in one direction. However, as the price rises, some traders may start to feel that the currency is becoming overvalued and decide to take profits. On the other hand, some might go short which can trigger a pullback or retracement. On the contrary, when market sentiment is bearish and investors are pessimistic about a currency pair, they tend to sell it, which leads to an impulsive move in the opposite direction. As the price falls, some traders may start to feel that the currency is becoming oversold and decide to buy it back which can again trigger a retracement. Impulsive waves often push the price to a greater distance with momentum and they have same colored candles with big bodies. On the contrary, retracements represent form of indecision on the chart with combined color candles with small bodies and sideway wicks. Identifying the end of a pullback and the start of an impulsive move could be highly profitable as it enables us to capitalize on potential buying or selling opportunities in the market. This is where Fibonacci retracement levels come into play. Fibonacci retracement levels refer to a set of horizontal lines placed on a price chart to indicate areas of value during a trending market. The main retracement levels are 38.2%, 50%, 61.8%, and 78.6%, which can provide possible trade entries. Now let me show you how to use retracement levels on your chart. Imagine we have an uptrend with a series of impulsive and corrective moves. We have identified the most recent impulsive move and waiting for a pullback to go long at a better price. So grab the Fibonacci retracement tool. Simply click on the start of the impulsive move from the bottom of the wick and then drag the tool to the top of the movement. You will then see the retracement levels appear to the right. When price pulls back to these levels, they can act as a form of support and potentially reject the price to continue moving upwards. But here is an important point. Pullbacks come in many different shapes and sizes. We have two different types of pullbacks, including small and deep pullbacks. A small pullback is a sign of a strongly trending market and will be somewhere between 38.2% and 50% retracement. On the other hand, a deep pullback will happen somewhere between 50% and a previous level of support, and it is a sign of weakness in a trending market. Now the question is, which retracement levels are suitable for high probability trade entries? To answer this question, we divide the possible pullback range into two parts. The area above the 50% retracement level is called the premium and the area below is called the discount zone in the bullish scenario. Now, trying to buy the asset in the premium area could make you lose many trades since the market often loves to take out early buyers and benefit from liquidity. On the other hand, looking to buy in the discounted area might make you miss many trades in a strongly trending market. But it could lead to high risk-to-reward ratio trades. Remember, the same concept applies to the bearish scenario. These were some of the basic concepts about market movement and retracement levels. So let's move on to the advanced phase, where we will show you how we use FIB levels to generate trade entries. But before we continue, as always, please smash the like button to show your support and comment below with your thoughts. Usually, we combine retracement levels with price action in two major ways. First, we have trend continuation trading setups, 
and second, reversal trading strategies. Let's start with the first one, the trend continuation setup using retracement levels. This setup is based on the 786 Fibonacci retracement level, and it is best to use it in pairs with deep retracements such as gold. This trading strategy is a trend continuation setup, so use it when you can clearly identify the moving trend. Imagine we are in an uptrend and the market continuously makes higher highs and higher lows. The recent impulsive move starts from point A and ends in point B, and we are waiting for a pullback to enter long at a better price. So here comes an important point. Considering we are in an uptrend, the chances for the price to retest the B before breaking the A and leading to a major trend change is higher. So to enter the position, we will put the retracement tool from A to B and set a buying order precisely on the 786 point with our stop couples of pips below the A. We will also target the B point. This way, your risk to reward ratio would be almost 1 to 3. So let's go to the details of this trading setup step by step on the real chart. Here on the gold one hour time frame, we have an obvious downtrend. We have a series of impulsive moves and pullbacks, and this is the most recent swing. So we apply the retracement tool from start to end and place our buying order precisely on the 786 level. If the market somehow manages to make a deep pullback to grab liquidity, we will have a great high probability of trade entry. Since our risk to reward ratio is 1 to 3, a winning trade can basically wash away three losing ones. But you need to consider two factors to execute more precise entries with this trading setup. Number one is the spread. The price often reacts to the 786 level within a pip, so to trigger the orders, you have to place your order with a spread size above the 78 level, or just register with a broker with tight spreads like us. The second factor you need to consider is the higher time frame market structure. Before placing any trades, ask yourself where the price has come from and how much room it has to continue before reaching a higher level demand or supply. For example, consider the same example of gold. If we zoom out to the 4 hours time frame, we can see that this is our higher time frame demand area in front of the price, and we have a lot of space before reaching it. So it makes sense to open short positions. But suppose if the price had mitigated a higher time frame demand level. In this case, we couldn't open a short trade without confirmation because the market can easily change direction and ignore the lower time frame supply areas. I hope this was clear to you. If it was not, then let's see another bullish example. Here on the one hour's time frame, we have an obvious uptrend. This is our latest impulsive move. And as long as we stay above this swing low, we are still in an uptrend. So right now, if the market pulls back to the discounted area, it would be a great opportunity to enter long position. But before placing any trade, let's check the higher time frame to see the bigger picture. In the four hours time frame, we notice that we have recently broken above the key level of supply, so demand is in control. Also, the price has a lot of room before reaching the next resistance zone. So basically, higher and lower time frames are in the same bullish direction. So we will apply the Fibonacci retracement tool and place our short position on the 7865 level with our stop a couple of pips below the swing low. Defining targets is completely up to you, but the close of the lowest candle is a safe area to secure profits. Let's move on to the next part of this video the reversal trading setup using Fibonacci retracement levels. But before we continue, comment below and tell us what topics you want us to cover in the following videos, since we always look at them to decide what to do next. Now reversal trading could be tricky, because we will place trades against the dominant trend. But the pros of reversal trading setups are that they can lead to a massive risk-to-reward ratio. This trading setup we are about to show you is a combination of three concepts. A major level of structure double top and double bottom pattern, and the retracement levels. So let's start with the major level of structure. When an area was rejected multiple times, acted as both support and resistance and was recently respected, we call that a major level of structure, which can produce some of the most accurate trade entries. This confluence opportunity makes price bounce from this area and provides a great trading setup. A double top or bottom is a popular M-shaped reversal pattern that price action traders are widely using. But remember that we have a simple rule to identify a valid double top or bottom pattern. 
In the case of a double top, draw a box between the highest candle close and the wick of the first test. In that case, the second test's wick must at least touch the box, and the body can't close beyond. Now let me show you step by step how to make a reversal trading setup. We use two time frames for this trading strategy. In the higher time frame, we analyze market direction and structure and look for a major level of structure that potentially can reject the price. Let's consider this as our higher time frame, where we can analyze the market structure and dominant trend. From this perspective, we can see that the market was in a downtrend until it reached this price. Following that, the market failed to establish a lower low, indicating a loss of momentum. Subsequently, the price broke through a key supply level, signaling that demand has taken control. We can notice this major level of structure that has been recently rejected multiple times as a support and resistance. Therefore, if the market reaches this level again, there is high chance it may reject the price and provide a potential buying opportunity. Moreover, we have a lot of space to go towards the next supply level ahead of the market, making this an ideal trading setup. Our next step would be to wait for the price to test the key level of structure and then zoom into a lower time frame to execute our trade. On the lower time frame, we will look for a valid double bottom pattern to indicate a potential reversal. Once the price breaks the neckline and completes the double bottom pattern, we will apply the retracement tool from the start of the move to the end and place our buying order precisely at the 618 retracement level. Our stop loss will be located below the swing low and we will target the next level of market structure on the higher time frame. Here on the gold 4 hours time frame, we recently broke the supply levels so demand is in control. If the market pullbacks to this level, it will be a great opportunity to look for long trades since this level is a major level of structure that can potentially reject the price. So all we have to do right now is wait for the price to tap into this zone and zoom into lower time frames and look for entry reasons. Here in the one hour, we can observe much more detail once the price reaches this level. We can notice this triple bottom strongly rejecting the price. The neckline has broken, and if we enter the market, our stop is going to be below this swing low in any circumstances. So if we enter the market right now, our stop will be too large. So we have to wait for a pullback to enter the market in a better price. So we apply retracement tool and place buy orders on the 618 FIB level. Place your stop loss below the swing low and close half of your position when the price reaches two times your risk. This way, you could make your trade break even and close your full position when the market taps into a higher time frame supply level. So guys, that's it for this video, and I hope it has some value for you. If it has, please smash the like button to show your support and see you in the next episode.